Hey guys, The Art of Justice here, and for the month of August, and possibly September, we're going to be going back to the basics. So, what we're basically going to be doing in this series is taking certain features, we're starting off with the eye, and basically breaking it down into different mediums. So today we're going with eyes and the basics, which is pencil, because you have to have to have to have drawing skills. Even if you're a digital painter, a regular acrylic painter, drawing skills are just so important because they're truly the foundation. If you can't draw the image, how can you translate it into colors and shapes? Like, it's just basic. So the first thing I drew was the young me, what little itty bitty Justice would have drawn. And the other thing I drew was how I usually do it stylized. Now the eyes are one of my favorite facial features. Um, it's my personal favorite, fac favorite facial feature on myself. So I tend to draw my eyes bigger and I also accentuate the eyelashes like I do on the edge, the outer corner of the eye. And that's just my personal style. Now Using the image, and I just found these images on Pinterest, um, but using the image on the side, you're going to see me in my brush pen do a little quick doodle showing you basically a quick little rundown of this image. So what you'll notice the differences between my style and this one is number one, the eyelashes actually don't get shorter as they go into the inner corner of your eye. They're actually the same length. The difference is just the angles. And on this particular one, her bottom lashes almost seem like they're not close to her eye. Just because of that, her inner rim is a little lighter. And also with the pupil, you'll see, and you'll see this with all of the images that I'm going to draw today, that they usually have an outer, like a darker rim on the outside, as well as around the um, actual, what is it, the iris? I don't know. I feel like I switched around those terms. But the um, center of your eye, the black part. So there's another dark rim around that, which I did not draw in my style. <clears throat> then on the next one, I'm going to break it down into graphite, purely pencil. So I'm just breaking it down into graphite. And once again, what you'll notice with this one, because it was a young child, the eyes were a little bit bigger. And the next picture is a baby, which you'll see that even more, the large eyes that kind of give that sense of innocence. Another thing you'll notice is the difference in eye shape not eye shape, eyebrow shapes, because everyone's eyebrow shape is different, whether it's some synthetic, like you just shaped it yourself, or if it's just naturally grown that way. Now what I noticed about this baby picture, which she is just so adorable, first of all, is what I noticed. But I also noticed, which I thought was pretty cool, is that she only has top lashes. Now, I'm not no child development specialist, so I don't know if it's just that her eyelet, her bottom eyelashes haven't grown in yet. I don't know if they're there and it's just that they don't have the pigmentation yet. And that's why you can't see it in the image. But I thought it was just kind of interesting because I'm like, hmm, maybe that's why our little cartoon styles can be the way that they are, where they only have the top lashes. Maybe this is where they got their inspiration from. I don't know. I just thought that was cool. And another thing I focused on on this one was more of the shading. Usually I use a tortillion stump for this, but I didn't feel like doing that because I felt like it would give too much detail, take too much time. So I just kind of quickly use my finger. Now the next picture, I'm going to draw both the left and right eye. And what you'll notice that I do is I will, I always, when I'm drawing both eyes, I always draw the bridge of the nose as well as the other side of her face. 
and when I get to this part you'll be able to see it and understand what I'm saying more but basically I um the reason why I do that is because it helps with the placement of the eye so when you draw the bridge of the nose um the dip in the nose is kind of where the eye starts which you'll see right here and then on the other side of the face the first bump right there at the top is usually where the eyebrow is and then that little indentation just like with the nose is where the eye usually is placed and so even when I'm doing my own personal style I usually I always draw that face that um, similar um, shape right there because number one it gives it more and it makes it a little bit more real a little bit more interesting than just drawing like oh an oval face and or, or like a circle I don't know or a square but it also helps with placing the eye accurately now the fifth image is going to be uh, male eyes because I do not draw a lot of men and so I was trying to get experience with that however this picture I couldn't really find a good enough picture because all the men were like squinting they're like oh look at me I'm so sassy I'm like but I just want to like get I want to like learn how to draw so I did this one um, you'll see even in the other videos where we do this that the eye is just really not interesting it's not working it's not doing it for me because even the colors I can't tell if it's the reflection or if he has like gray eyes but the eye is literally just black and white from this image and it honestly kind of drove me crazy in the future videos you'll see but I tried I challenged myself didn't really get a challenge maybe I'll do another video where I solely focus on male features maybe that'll be a whole back to basics videos just drawing a bunch of male faces but I attempted it here and at least I tried <laughs> now next up the video is going to be watercolor so doing all the same eyes same photos same images but we're going to be doing it in watercolor i'm not a watercolor artist in the lightest but you know i still have those techniques i do have some experience in watercolor and so we're gonna use that in a future video um if you guys notice i changed the um i don't know what you want to call it the background or the the tablecloth i'll just call it what it is a tablecloth um for my videos to fit more of my theme let me know in the comments below if you like it feel free to subscribe to the channel um, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and be sure to look out for some more of those back to basic videos coming up.